Is Star Wars number one rare? The answer is no. In fact, among all Bronze Age comic books, only two have had more copies submitted to CGC for grading. Did you notice that asterisk? That's because there's more to the story, and the truth will be revealed when I unzip this jacket. For the time being, let's get to the rarest 10 Bronze Age comic books. And we'll do so by examining the top 25 most valuable Bronze Age comic books according to Overstreet Price Guide. I looked up the CGC census counts for each of these books, and I'm reporting the 10 rarest right here. The 10th rarest is Green Lantern 76 with 2,652 copies. The recently passed and greatly missed Neil Adams lends his art to the title for the first time. Some folks consider this to be the first Bronze Age comic book. At number 9 with 2,077 copies, we have Batman number 227. Another great Neil Adams cover, perhaps his best. In fact, the cover pays homage to arguably the greatest Golden Age cover of all time, and that's Detective Comics number 31. Let's put them side by side to compare. Brooding Batman, Mountain, Evil Castle, Clouds, Moon, Bats, Evil Dude, Damsel in Distress, Check, check, check. It's got them all. And for good measure, Neil Adams throws in a couple rabid wolves. What's next? Here's a clue. Okay. Yep, that's my dog Trudy doing her best impersonation of Scooby-Doo eating a Scooby snack. Indeed, Scooby-Doo number one comes in an eighth position with 370 copies. With merely 347 copies, Cerebus, the aardvark, takes the seventh spot. Starting with a print run of approximately 2,000, this indie title hero would be named one of the top 100 comic book heroes of all time. At number six, we have the great reveal. The regular version of Star Wars, which looks like this, is super common with over 15,000 copies on CGC census. But what happens when the price changes? That's right, folks, we're talking about the 35 cent price variant of Star Wars Comics number one. And the census count goes all the way down to 347. Unlike most of today's variants, this one is no gimmick. It was Marvel's attempt to test out a price hike at a few select markets. According to Overstreet Price Guide, this book also happens to be the number one most valuable book of the Bronze Age. Sorry, bub. Back to our list. Numbers 5, 4, and 2 are also Star Wars 35 cent price variants. Number 2, 4, and 3 respectively. Alright, we haven't covered the third rarest yet, and this is a weird one. In fact, the name is so crazy long, I'm going to have to read it out. It's DC 100 page super spectacular number 5 love stories. What a mouthful. I may be ruining my life, but I can't help myself. Ah, love in the 70s. Now we're at number one of the rarest Bronze Age books, and it's another 35 cent variant. This time though, it's not Star Wars, it's Iron Fist number 14, which is the first appearance of Sabretooth. 74 is legitimately rare, but not rare enough to make this list, which is the top 10 rarest Golden Age Grails. If you like these videos that are a little bit more in depth about our comic book hobby, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you around real soon.